For most, running indoors is about replicating the outdoor experience or zoning out with entertainment. Peloton does neither and provides a whole new running experience on the tread. Welcome to TreadmillReviews.com. I'm Kaylee and today I'm reviewing the Peloton Tread. Not to be confused with the Slat Belt Tread Plus, the Tread has a traditional treadmill belt. The Peloton Tread is a premium running treadmill that first introduced us to the Z-frame design we're seeing so many brands adopt. The Tread's extremely simplistic console and large touchscreen display create an unmatched, clean aesthetic. But here at TreadmillReviews.com, we don't want to just judge treadmills by how they look. We care about how they perform. And that's where some users might find the tread a little lacking, while others might find the treadmill of their dreams. I'm happy to run down all of my pros and cons after logging several miles on this treadmill, so you can decide if this treadmill and its top-notch training content are for you. If you want to learn more about home treadmills and cardio equipment, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Here at TreadmillReviews.com, we're happy to keep you up to date on these products. If there are other products you want to see us review, leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. The Peloton Tread's premium price leads us to expect premium performance features. While the Tread's build is unique, it doesn't quite achieve the impressive range we would expect compared to similarly priced treadmills. The Tread has a speed range of 0 to 12 and a half miles per hour, just half a mile faster than typically found on home treadmills. The incline is where I think things are really lacking. The Tread only inclines to 12 and a half percent, again just a smidge over the standard 12 percent, but it doesn't decline. When you look at competitors like the Nordic Track 2450, the Proform Pro 9000, or the Soul F85, you find at least a decline of negative 3%. If you've ever run a downhill race, you'll soon learn that the importance of downhill training is to avoid soreness. Even experienced runners get sore from downhill running, not uphill running as you might think, so I wish that this feature was available on the tread. The motor is a mere three horsepower. From what we know and love about Peloton, this brand is perfect for exercisers who want to train daily. It's a big deal for loyal Peloton users to rack up an impressive number of total classes. You're even encouraged to stack classes to take one after another. It's a sweet setup and I really enjoy training this way to build the routine that I want. But it doesn't make sense with the motor size. We consider three horsepower the minimum threshold for a running treadmill. Of course, the horsepower may not tell the motor's whole story, but we would expect a motor on par with similarly priced machines like those I've previously mentioned, which offer 3.5 to 4 horsepower. A more powerful motor is going to be better suited to high use as well as more durability for users at the top of the 300 pound weight capacity. So far, the tread has held up to our use, but it's unclear how it will continue to perform over time. The tread is 68 inches long by 33 inches wide and 62 inches high. Peloton states that your ceiling height should be at least 20 inches taller than the tallest user in your household. Fewer brands include this information, so good on Peloton for ensuring you have adequate space to accommodate this treadmill. Because it does not fold and weighs 290 pounds, you are going to want to find a permanent location. It can be wheeled around if you lift it up from the back of the deck, but it's not something I would want to do on my own, and I suggest that most walkers or runners avoid needing to move the tread as much as possible. I've said that the Peloton tread has a simple console, and it does, but that doesn't mean it's short on features, unless you don't have an active Peloton subscription, but we'll get to that later. The Treads console has a 23.8 inch touchscreen display, a stability bar with a small storage compartment, a stop button, and a safety key, and two dials, each with a jump button. Taking a closer look at the large display, you have front facing speakers at the top and a camera with a privacy cover that slides back and forth. There are rear speakers as well. 
There are long, thin volume buttons on the right side of the screen that are easy to adjust while running. You can also find a headphone jack and a USB-C charging port hidden on the back of the console. The centerpiece, that large display, is high definition with crisp detail and reduced glare. It's one of the Tread's best features. The audio quality complements the viewing experience very well, whether you're listening through the speakers or choose to pair headphones via Bluetooth. The Peloton Tread also allows you to adjust to hear more music or morph the trainer if the original audio mix isn't working for you. Some days I need more music to help me along, while other days I'm really focused on achieving exactly what the Peloton coach is instructing me to do. There are helpful on-screen ranges provided for the speed and incline, so you always have an idea of what your metrics should be, even if you miss the trainer's instructions. The Peloton Tread is compatible with Bluetooth heart rate monitors. I paired my Garmin 4 Runner 245 easily and received a Strive score in return. The metric helps you compare workout efforts from any of Peloton's classes, on the tread, on other Peloton equipment, or on the floor. The score is based on the time you spend at each heart rate zone. You can see the score increasing on screen as you walk or run on the tread with a connected heart rate monitor. The feature I love the most about the tread is the speed and incline knobs. These spin forward or backward at the swipe of your hand to increase or decrease your speed or incline. It's very easy to do while walking or running. In fact, I think it's one of the most natural ways to change your metrics. Runners or walkers who are obsessed with hitting an exact speed may not like this design as it's not ideal for precision. You may have to swipe up or down two or three times if there's an exact tenth of a mile you're aiming for. Fortunately, both knobs also have what Peloton calls a jump button. Pressing the jump button will bring you up to the next full level. For instance, running at 5 miles per hour or 5.4 miles per hour and pressing the jump button will take you up to 6 miles per hour. The incline jump button increases to the next whole percent, whereas the dial adjusts the incline by as little as half a percent. There's no quick adjust button to slow you or bring you back down, so you will have to scroll. There are three suggested speeds or inclines that appear on screen to help you jump to a popular training level. I cannot stress enough that the Peloton Tread is designed to work with Peloton's training platform. The features provided are nice, but the Peloton Tread loses most of its functionality without an active subscription. So keep that in mind as we talk next about the Tread subscription and performance. Peloton's exercise machines may be unique and trendsetting, but the brand is better known for its training content. The Peloton coaches are practically celebrities. The Tread delivers the same high-energy, music-driven classes you find on the notorious Peloton bike. It's not a running experience I'm used to, even after a decade of running. There's something in me that screams against the musically structured and somewhat impulsive feeling speed and incline changes. But when I lean into that experience, running feels a bit new again. It's the training by feel aspect that treadmill running usually lacks. Peloton brings it back. I don't think Peloton quite has the traditional running experience down, so it might not be for runners looking for those key familiar workouts we tend to go to. But I don't necessarily think that's a weakness. Besides, the on-demand and live classes led by Peloton trainers, the tread also has scenic runs and lane break. While the scenic runs will be nothing new to most smart treadmill users, lane break is a treadmill first because it gamifies walking and running. Lane Break shows six lanes that a tire, your avatar, rolls along. You adjust the incline to switch lanes and rack up points. Increasing your speed to the suggested level earns you additional points and multipliers. You can choose which artist tracks back your game and select the level of difficulty. It's fun and not too chaotic. I was a little worried that the gaming would be too distracting and high pressure, but it's actually just right. One other feature that is new to Peloton's equipment is entertainment. Peloton has started beta testing support for entertainment apps like Disney+, Max, and YouTube TV, and we hope that this integration sticks around. If you don't want to subscribe to Peloton's content, the Tread has very basic options. You can run in manual mode, and that's about it. For this reason, a Peloton membership is essential to the Tread's performance. If you're looking for a more affordable Peloton-like treadmill or a treadmill that you can use along with Peloton content without so much commitment, try the Horizon 7.8 AT. 
All right, so now I'm going to walk at three miles per hour so you can hear a little bit how the tread performs and then also see what it looks like. So one thing I noticed right away on the tread is that it's a firmer treadmill. So you're paying that premium price, but you're not exactly getting that soft cushioning you might expect at a treadmill for this price point. All right, now I'll take it up to seven miles per hour so you can see it when I'm running. We'll use that jump button too. So back down to three miles per hour. Running on it is just fine. That red line in the center does give you a little bit more guidance um, when you're running so you stay centered on the tread. Now I'm gonna take it up to the maximum incline of 12 and a half percent. All right, so there's the top of that incline. One thing I really like about the tread is that the console is attached to the deck, so it rises up with you, so it keeps the viewing experience really, really pleasant while you're walking on that top incline. If you're hooked on Peloton's training content, the Peloton tread is a great option. That's really who this treadmill is designed for. If you aren't sure about the commitment, we recommend the Nordic Track 2450 for good training content or the Soul F85 for runners who want more training variety. The Peloton tread is a game changer with content, but an overpriced treadmill without it. We're still a little torn on this one, so it's up to you and your preferences whether this treadmill fits your training style. Thanks so much for watching my review of the Peloton Tread. If you have questions about the Tread, leave a comment or check out my full written review on treadmillreviews.com. We'll have it linked below as well as the link to the Peloton Tread so you can check out its current price. I'm Kaylee from treadmillreviews.com and thanks again for watching.